This is a rice milk soap. It's of two types in the market. One contains glutathione and the other one contains collagen. Both of them are used to brighten the face and brighten the body and it is very effective because glutathione itself is effective. So someone gave me the soap that she bought it 2000 naira for it. It's very tiny bar that please I should try and recreate the soap for her. Like she lather perfectly and she won the exact effect. So keep watching and stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for not going anywhere. This is Bam Glam of Bam Glam DIY. So today I'll be making this rice jam bar soup. So I'll be making use of rice starch. This is rice starch, you can buy it in the market. It's very cheap and affordable. You can also decide to make your own rice milk yourself. There are different knowledges about that here online that you can how you can make rice milk. Soak your rice, blend it, bring out the water, strain it use the water to make your soap but well, I decided to use the cosmetic grade grade of the rice milk soap so here are my oils so any oils you are used to working with just work with your oils but if you want to have the color um, as creamy and milky as it is the original you need to make sure that your oils is pale as pale as possible it has to range from coconut oil um, you can use in a little bit tallow if you want, but it has to be oil that is pale in color. Don't use any dark colored oil. So this is me adding some butters. I also included some butters for to produce this soap. Like I said, I'm making this soap for a friend of mine that is in love with rice jam soap. It's a China soap, but it works perfectly. It has a load of glutathione in it. Glutathione is an antioxidant. And it's actually almost one million times more effective than even ascorbic acid which is vitamin D. The second type of this soap in the market contains collagen. Collagen is good for anti to for anti-aging effects. It helps to protect the face and remove wrinkle lines from the head. Also it helps to maintain the skin because we all buy soaps and cream that has collagen in it. So you can choose any brightening agents that you can buy. Glutathione, I believe, is very expensive, and it's not only that it's expensive, that but most of them that you see in the market is even adulterated. They may even sell a an oatmeal powder to you and tell you glutathione and collect the money from you. So if you are not sure, of even the vendor that is selling it to you, so you can even make the soap and it won't still work for you. But if you are sure of your your vendor that they are giving you the best. My vendor, I trust my vendor whenever it comes to skincare production. If I make a soap and I say this soap is for this to remove black spots, acne spots and the rest of them, it works the way it's meant to work. This is a very small batch. It's gonna be come out four bars. Only four bars, that's what I'll make from this soap. And then I included the rice, rice starch. We know that rice starch is good if you are talking about exfoliating is a gentle exfoliator it helps to exfoliate the skin gradually so remove dead skin cells brush up your skin polish your skin it's more like a skin polisher but in a mild way if you use the starch it will give you a little bit rough surface but it's beautiful so for fragrance i'm using this japan japanese cherry blossom by by uh, nature's garden It's beautiful every details about the fragrance i just listed it there it smells like a garden of cherry blossom flower i don't know how to explain it but it's so feminine so beautiful while you are bathing with it you just be smiling you just be feeling so good with yourself i'm telling you and Risha, if you give me a job to create soap for you forget about it you are going to get the best from me
So once you are done adding all your additives, your fragrance, make sure it's fragrance that can work with the cold process so cool. Don't go and use an adulterated fragrance or you enter in with lemon fragrance or lavender and you say it spoils your soap. Be careful with the fragrance you use when you're talking about skincare bathing soap. Immediately you add your caustic, you see it tracing up instantly. It doesn't even waste time because of my selection of oil. This oil is very high in coconut oil and then some other oils to help boost the person's skin. Some traces of hemp seed oil, some traces of uh, of uh, tea tree oil for to help the person alleviate skin care, skin issues like eczema, like acne, and the rest. So do with yourself, do with your oils, whatever you want to do with it. Read the internet about oils, select your oils perfectly, and then you can make a very beautiful bathing soap. I have a bathing course by the way if you want to learn how to make bathing soap with me so after doing all that look at how creamy it is can you see how creamy shiny beautiful looking it, it um, the butter so butter looks like it looks like a vanilla ice cream if i'm not mistaken in fact using some little bit of vanilla fragrance in this kind of soap will actually go well and this is the exact color i want to arrive at then be careful of your mold. If you have been using your mold to mold colored soap, it will affect the color outcome. So the mold should be as clean as possible. I know sometimes you make soap by Monday and by Friday we are already using it. You can do that for your household. But when you are talking about a customer you want to retain and you want to meet the face of the customers in the market, allow your cold process soap meant for baiting to cure for at least three weeks before you start selling it and pushing it out into the market. Please, I beg of you. So that the additives you add to it I hope you learned something new from this video. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing to my channel. This is Rice Brightening Soap. Try it out and give me feedback. Meanwhile, there are also other active ingredients out there in the market. You can also make use of uh, vitamin C. Please, I forgot to mention.